during the summer, Bloomington is usually just a quiet college town. Yeah, but as our Kevin Rader reports tonight, police are now overcome with overdose calls, and they're now trying to track down the source. Over the last week, it has been a very uneasy feeling in Bloomington with the amount of overdoses that the city is experiencing. At last count, going into Friday, it was 10. The investigations are continuing as many people have been moving on to right here to Kirkwood after they've been moved out of the parks. Well, we're seeing a lot of uh, overdoses. We don't know ent ent entirely the cause, but we're seeing them both uh, from heroin use and from uh, spice use. Uh, we're seeing, we've seen probably at least half of those have been people who are experiencing homelessness, so it's certainly impacting the folks that we're working with pretty hard. We've seen one death, although that's not someone we were acquainted with or that we knew. Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty frightening. It's pretty terrifying. And our suspicion is that there's something in both of those things that's not normally in them that's, that's causing uh, this, which uh, seems to be, that seems to be happening a lot these days, where there's something extra that's being put in there that's, uh, that's potent, if not deadly. It is very difficult to trace um, as far as the origins. Um, however, locally, once that's received, our efforts do continue in trying to find the person or persons responsible for dealing that has caused it this many problems. So now police are still investigating here and ambulances pulling off here on Kirkwood Avenue. It is a continuing situation here. It is at this point that Bloomington police say they are fortunate in that it is not heroin. It seems to be a synthetic drug, and that, they believe, may be saving lives here. We'll have more on that coming up on Eyewitness News at 6. In Bloomington, Kevin Rader, Channel 13, Eyewitness News.